two months now, the two main candidates in Nigeria's presidential election have crisscrossed the length and breadth of the country, making mouth-watering promises to voters. The election comes at a very bad time for Africa's largest economy. The nation's currency, the Naira, has depreciated by over 20 percent, and the government has been compelled to carry out significant budget cuts. Two economic issues have dominated political campaigns so far, unemployment and falling oil prices. But just what are the parties putting on the table? Good luck, Jonathan and his ruling PDP are proposing to create two million jobs every year. He's already initiated a youth entrepreneurship program known as UWIN and another one known as Graduate Internship Scheme to help young graduates secure jobs. Buhari's APC on its part says if voted into power, it would create three million direct and indirect jobs every year. It says it will provide soft loans for small and medium enterprises to boost job creation. But analysts say what the politicians are offering would not go far enough. Talking of youth, on, youth, that, youth unemployment that is uh, in the neighborhood of uh, 40 million or more of people that are unemployed, how many jobs can, uh, can, can you win deliver? We'll be lucky if we have up to 5,000 jobs or 10,000 jobs. On how they intend to deal with the issue of dwindling government revenue in the face of falling global oil prices, both parties have similar positions. They say while they can do little about the price of oil in the international oil market, they would ensure Nigeria does not feel the heat when prices fall, as they are doing right now. The PDP maintains the key to solving the problem is diversification of the economy, which it says it is already pursuing. The APC2 believes diversification is the way to go. Analysts say both parties are on point on this one, if only they could keep their campaign pledges. Whoever takes over after May 29 will have to face the reality that the economy, the revenue of the government has shrunk, and that the government today is no longer in a position as government was three years, two, three years ago, to implement a lot of the social benefits that are being banded around in campaign grounds. So reality will come home and they will adjust and they have to find ways of making the citizens moderate their expectation of government. Moderating expectations will sure be a very difficult task, but then the politicians know how to do it and would surely try. But whether Nigerians would take any excuses this time around is another question altogether. Dejabadmo, CCTV, Lagos, Nigeria.